Timing is aiming. What does that mean? Timing, aiming. Huh. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and uh, welcome to a game by EA Canada. I am so sorry, guys. As a fellow Canadian, I feel like I have to apologize for the fact that EA exists in Canada. I don't know how they got up here. It's like uh, they, they somehow made it across the border, and now we have EA Canada. Anyway, today we're going to be playing Grand Slam Tennis, and as you can see from the angry tennis faces in the background this is an intense game of no no holds barred tennis to the extreme this game was only ever released on the wii uh there were planned versions for the ps3 and xbox 360 that were put on indefinite hold which sounds like what happens when i have something on my chore to do list that i just wait until uh the season uh phases it out you know like Hey, I can't, can't empty the gutters in the winter. I guess I missed my chance. Um, all right. Practice court, left or right-handed? Well, I am left-handed, but I'm holding my uh, Wiimote in my right hand, so I'm going to go right-handed. It's interesting. Uh, for those of you who watch the channel, you know I'm left-handed. I've mentioned it here and there occasionally. But uh, I do a lot of things right-handed, like I use the mouse on the right hand of the keyboard, which if you move the mouse to the left side of the keyboard, you're just crazy. I, uh, I I hold video game controllers the same way. Like, you know, I don't use like the Southpaw setup on Halo or anything. Like, I'm left-handed in writing only. Everything else I just do right-handed. So I don't know. It's kind of kind of interesting. I feel like some lefties really like do everything left-handed, but that's just not me. Anyway, use the arrows above the net to help practice your shot. Press the two button to change the ball machine settings. To learn advanced controls, go to the pause menu advanced controls let's just do this boom that was a terrible shot boom that was also a terrible shot okay i'm gonna see uh how i have to like hold the the wiimote here i kind of feel like i don't know how i'm gonna like actually aim okay that was actually not too bad i i always find motion controls a little uh sort of dodgy and that i really sometimes like in a game like this i don't really know how to aim my shots I'm just kind of winging it and hoping that it comes out. But I think I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Oh, I missed one, though. Okay, that's one problem. Another problem is I'm having to hold the Wiimote so close to my microphone so I can actually talk to you guys, and I'm really afraid I'm going to, like, slam my microphone. So that is to say that if I play poorly today, guys, I take no responsibility. It's because, uh, because of the mic. Okay, we're actually doing pretty well here. Let's go ahead and practice type serving. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. Oh, how do I serve? Okay, boom. Hey, we did it. We actually hit the ball. And do it again, and kaboom. Oh, I paused the game. Whoops. There we go. All right, I, you know what? I, I have the gist of it. If we play this game on easy, I think we'll be okay. Seems like a fine enough game, actually. So let's go ahead and pause the game. And... Wait, why am I in the tutorial anyway? Did I even have a choice? Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Holding the racket. Oh, I'm supposed to hold it sideways. That's not happening. All right, welcome to Grand Slam Tennis. Swing the racket like a Grand Slam champion. Hey, we could have a tennis party. Have a multiplayer party with your friends. Sadly, I have no friends, game. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> we could also get fit. Get fit with the fitness challenge. The Wii was all about trying to get people fit. I'm literally sitting in a chair flicking my wrist, so I don't know how fit I'm going to get doing this, but, uh, I mean, I guess you're supposed to be standing up and, like, active. You know what? Why am I mocking Nintendo for trying to get people fit? That's actually a noble goal, you know? <laughs> like, I, I feel like I rag on the Wii sometimes, um, and I, I should stop doing that, you know? What's wrong with trying to get people fit? Trying to make us live longer and be healthy? How dare they? I want to sit on a couch and slowly, you know, engorge myself on fast food until I become a gelatinous blob that only plays NES games. <laughs> My goal in life, to become a, an NES playing blob. Um, it is not actually, but anyway. Uh, should we play singles or doubles? 
feel like doubles gets in the way. I like this guy, by the way. That guy who was just screaming on the screen. He is a famous tennis player, right? I love his, like, afro that is also in, like, a sweatband. That is so cool. I'm pretty sure that guy is a famous tennis player. I, I know nothing about tennis, but I do know that in this game, they include uh, 23 tennis players. 13 were current at the time, and 10 were called out of retirement. You know, it's like they went to get John Rambo to play in their tennis game. They're like, we know you've been retired for 20 years, but Wimbledon needs you. Um, and so, yeah, there's 10 retired tennis players you can select. Also, I know Wimbledon. Pretty much the only other thing. Oh, and the French Open and the US Open. Okay, actually, I know these. I didn't know there was an Australian Open. Surface, hard court. Surface, hard court. Surface, clay. Surface, grass. What do we want to play on? Let's start with a hard court. I'm going to go with Melbourne, Australia, because honestly, I uh, I didn't even know they, they had a... Uh, opens in Australia. Ooh, look at these cool areas. I like the idea of playing in an arena, but I also sort of like seeing the outdoors. It's kind of nice. Let's go for outdoors. We'll mix this up a bit. We'll try a few different uh, matches here. Uh, uh, game settings. Uh, games per set. Let's just do one. Oh, it has to be three. Okay, three is the minimum. Sets per match. One. Difficulty. Easy. <laughs> Forgive me, guys, but... Uh, there's some games, you know what? Know your limits in life, I would say. Know your limits. So, uh, and we are uh, one player right-handed. Sure. Oh, nope. There we go. One player right-handed. Except, oh, John McEnroy. That's the guy. I want to be that guy. Yes, I totally am him. I just like his look. Like, it's so 70s slash 80s. Uh, I, I am ready. Oh, look at that guy. He's doing like a, a hip thrust. He's like, yeah, eat it. Okay, so we can drop or lob. Ooh, advanced controls. B is to drop, A is to lob. Why would you ever want to lob? See, I don't even know. I don't even understand like tennis tactics. Like, why would you lob instead of dropping? Why would you do, why, why don't you just hit it normally? I don't know. Let's experiment, I guess. Maybe we can figure it out. When his first Grand Slam singles title, at the 1979 U.S. Open. I wasn't even born yet, and this guy's winning matches. How does he look so young? What is his secret to not aging? Um, all right, we're in Australia. Let's give these people a show. All right. Now, the interesting thing about uh, Wii Tennis is that unlike a normal tennis video game, you actually don't have to move your character. All you have to do is swing well. Um, I think some Wii tennis games that we've played, you actually do have to move your character. But like in this one, like I'm not in control of him. All I have to do is swing the tennis racket. So that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to position myself a little more away from the mic. Maybe I'll be a little quieter in this, uh, in this video here today. But I think we'll have a better chance of me actually oh God, getting something. Maybe you're not supposed to play this game by sitting down. Maybe I should be like standing up. Right point. This is gonna be hard, guys. I'm playing this game on hard mode, even though the game's on easy. Kaboom! Right here we go. See, when it comes to my left, I have no problem getting the ball, but on the right, I have a bit of problem. Oh yeah. Oh here it goes. No, what? Why did you mess up? Oh my guy's so mad. He's like, what? What? What do you want? Okay, we, we've, uh, this is gonna be a quick, a quick loss for us, I think. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, eat it. Eat it, yes! Oh, how did he recover from that? Oh, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? <laughs> he got too cocky. He was, he was busy thinking about doing his taxes later. I don't know why he was thinking of that. Like, that guy was, like, diving and dodging all over the, uh, the court, and we still lost. We still lost. God damn it. <laughs> the, 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 the microphone just yelled, you cannot be serious. Okay, the, I, I'm gonna have to hold the mic near the mic on the Wiimote next to the mic that I'm talking into so that next time I fail, you guys can hear. Oh my God. He didn't yell anything. Hopefully next time. One thing that has never made sense to me about tennis is the scoring system. Um, the like 15, 30, 40, you know, love. Oh my God, we can't even get, oh, we got one by him, finally. Finally, we've scored a point. 
which counts as 15 points in tennis. Um, I do remember, though, um, I heard once that the reason the scoring in tennis is a little funky is that they used to actually keep track of uh, scores with clocks, like way back in the olden times. Um, and that's kind of interesting, actually. Boom! Come on, man. Okay, we're going to try a lob. Boom, boom! Oh, man, did you guys hear that? I was holding the... The Wiimote up to the mic. Oh, he yeah, threw his racket. He's so pissed. I'm angering my avatar. I don't think he's happy that I'm in control of him. Um, but isn't that kind of a cool idea? The idea of like keeping track of score in a sport using like a clock. Like that's actually pretty ingenious. Oh my god. Oh, we're definitely losing this match. I do have to say though, this game has like an interesting style where it's a little cartoony, but it's weird. It like almost holds up these days. Man, come on, get him. Get him. Yes. Yeah. Look at that guy in the hat in the background. There's like, I feel like that's the tennis FBI. It's just hanging out behind me. Like those guys are going to arrest me after the match for crimes against tennis. Like, look at the guy. Look, the guy's right behind in the middle who's standing up just totally vert. He's like, he's like a statue. He's not even moving. Kind of weird. Oh, yeah, this game kind of has, like, an interesting style, actually. I do know that uh, an interesting thing I've sort of heard about Nintendo games is that Nintendo games actually, um, in a weird way, hold up better in terms of graphics over the years than something like the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Wow, this is a, quite, a, quite a fracas we have going on here. Quite a tennis melee. Oh, and I screwed it up. Um, it's weird to think about how, like, Nintendo consoles actually might hold up in graphics better than, like, Sony consoles and stuff. But I think the issue is that um, for PlayStations and Xboxes and stuff, they're always going for photorealistic. Um, yeah, we got that one on them. And, you know, like a PS1 or a PS2, the graphics on that definitely look dated when you go and look at it. Like, these days. Like, back in the day, it looked good, but, like, nowadays... Um... It definitely didn't. Ooh, we got a deuce. There's a deuce on the court. Let's see if we can make this happen. Uh, so we got to get the advantage, right? I think that's how tennis works. Not 100% sure. But, uh... Um, yeah, so anyway, you know, like a PS1 or PS2 graphics look dated. But Nintendo, by constantly sort of having a cartoony zing to their graphics, basically means that the graphics always looked a little cartoony and dated um and not even dated like a cart cartoony looks can be stylish like i would say this is like a stylistic uh kind of you know a take on the tennis greats like this is not photorealistic and it never was and so as a result like cartoons kind of hold up over time um and Roger Federer yeah, yeah. wins. Roger I know that name. And so basically by going the cartoony route, you create games that at, when they come out, the graphics do not look photorealistic like the competition, but over time, they hold up. Which is kind of interesting, actually. So, yeah, like, this just, just looks very stylized to me these days. I, these graphics don't look bad. But if we play, like, a PS1 game, probably we could agree the graphics look a little chunky, you know? Um, or I guess what came out, the Wii was competing with the Xbox 360, I guess, even though it was technically underpowered. Uh, we don't want to rematch against this guy because he's going to beat us. So, anyway, let's see if we can find, uh, ooh, was that Serena Williams? We just go back and forth. Do we see different people? I know the name Serena Williams. I think she's a tennis great as well. Andre Agassi is another person that I know. That's about it. We're like tapping the limits of my tennis knowledge. Is that Serena Williams? Could be. Anyway, let's play now. Uh, oh, actually, let's try this doubles. And then we spread out the responsibility for a loss. We're not ready for Wimbledon yet. I think French Open. And we already did outside. So I like to look at this place. Boom, we're doing it. And you know what? I'm going to switch to left handed and see if that helps me even though I'm still holding with my right. Ooh, look, we have Serena Williams on our team. Let's see if we can pick somebody else, though. Is Andre Agassi here? 
Roger Federer, Stefan Eidenberg, Lindsay Davenport. I don't know any of these people. Oh, this guy's a Borg. His name is Bjorn Borg. And Boris Becker. Venus Williams. Wait, there's sisters? Venus and Ser I know Serena. I didn't know there was. Uh, didn't know there was another one. Eat Sampras. Actually, I do know that name too. Andrew Roddick. There's no Andre Agassi. Give me a break. Who are all these people? I don't know any of these people. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. We're, so clearly, these tennis people. They're all really old right now, so my the only explanation I can think of for why these people look so young in this game is that in the context of this game, uh, a, a conglomerate of international business interests have actually cloned these players to play in the modern era. So if they can clone Roger Federer once, they can clone him again. Oh no, they switched it! I was going to have Roger Federer versus Roger Federer. I wanted to have a clone match, but... Oh wait, can we, can we switch this? Can we make it, Roger Federer? Can we do, can we force the clone? I want clone match, baby. I don't think we can. Okay, well, whatever. Be whoever you want. Be whoever makes you happy. I don't care. <laughs> Left, straight, right. Timing is aiming. What does that mean? Timing, aiming. Hi there, I'm Pat Cash. Huh. Also, it was showing holding the Wiimote very differently than how I'm holding it. So I'm going to try holding it slightly differently. I was or holding it. It's hard to describe, but I was I might have been holding it upside down, basically. So that could be why I was losing. Pro tip, don't hold your controller upside down, especially in a motion control game. If you're playing an NES game, hold it however the F you want. Hold it upside down, claw grip. You can hold it backwards. It can be, I don't know, curled up in a ball. It doesn't make a difference. The NES controller doesn't know what's going on. It has no capability of sensing its environment. Whereas the Wiimote does. Wiimote's gonna know if you're holding it upside down. So don't do it. Boom. Alright, Serena, you're carrying the team. Do not let us down. Serena! <laughs> she does it! Okay. I'm liking doubles a lot better because it really takes a lot of the responsibility off of my shoulders. Boom, Serena iced them. And the tennis FBI in the background is completely unfazed. All right, Serena, it's all on you, baby. It's all on you. Serena, you're you're killing it. You're crushing it. Oh, it's on me. Okay, I, I only had to return one there. Serena, keep it going. Serena. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Where's the high five? That guy's like, what? That was an illegal play. That was not, that was not tennis. Yeah, I, li I'm, I like watching replays when we win. Here's a fun fact about tennis. It seems like a very British sport to me, but it is definitely French. Um, I mean, you can just tell by the... Oh, God! Okay, that screwed us. You can just tell by the... Uh, the labels, right? Like, when you tie it up at 40 points apiece, it's deuce. That's, that's a French word. That's not English. I mean, may maybe this is old news to, like you folks out there, but uh, tennis is definitely uh, a French thing. The French sport. Boom. Oh, Serena. You did it, girl. Yeah, you you earned that uh, that taunt. Oh, we're, we're actually winning. This is a new experience for me. Um, boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Okay, we're going to do a lob. Oh god! Oh, I screwed myself up there. He's like, "What the hell, Jay? Oh, that's just Get your so shit easy. together!" <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting, actually. Like, I never thought of this before, but when you really do think about it, all the fanciest words in English are actually French words, like "compliment," "government," "establishment." Like all the M E N T words, those are uh, French, actually. Um, so if you look at the lineage of the words, did we actually, did, did we win a set? Here I am talking about the, oh no, we're on deuce. But we have the advantage. Alright, don't screw it up, Serena. Oh, damn, girl! Damn! I will, she deserves all the high fives. Serena, I'm buying you a Coke. You've earned it. Uh oh, now it's on me, now I'm the guy who's, uh... 
Go to vet the friend here. Okay, you keep going, Serena. Boom! Oh! Well, Playing close to the right net's right. actually easier. In the history of tennis, how many times has the person in, in doubles play, how many times has the person who's standing closer to the net just been nailed in the back of the head by the ball from their uh, teammate? Oh, that was out. Yeah. Oh, no. How could you do that, blonde girl? You totally screwed the, the team. You got, you got uh, too cocky. You got too cocky. Yeah, I wonder if you can do that in this game. Just like... Oh my god! Wait, what? Uh, so you're not in control of where your dude moves. My guy went the wrong way. How's that my fault? That sucks. They outmaneuvered my AI. Wait, can I control? Oh, I can control the movement with the arrows. Never mind. Fault. Double fault. Come on, double fault. No. Uh, so I guess you can have some control. I don't know. I was trying to control things there, but uh, it didn't work. You know what I'm just noticing is that the audience are animated cardboard cutouts. Like, look at the look at the uh, the audience. They're missing a dimension. They're only 2D. Oh, that was so easy. I'll be honest. There, I thought I screwed up. I was kind of flicking my wrist in a random direction, and it just actually worked out for us. Boom! Serena! Oh, I got this, Serena. Don't worry, Serena. Yes. Oh, I got this, Serena. Oh, Serena. Oh, I got this one, too. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go, Serena. Oh, I tried to kick with my foot. It didn't work. Like He's, like, pointing at the ground. He's like, that's where the ball went when I missed it. Crap, we have another deuce. Keep ending up a deuce. This cursed French scoring system. Keep track of points like a normal sport. Oh, I took a dive. Oh, no, it's all, all, all on you, Serena. Get up, dude. Get up, Serena. You're carrying the team. You're carrying the team. I don't know why he took a dive there. He was just like literally like, okay, I cannot control his movement. I cannot control his movement. That is so... Okay. Oh, on me! Yes! Yes! Oh. Serena carried that match. I just popped in at the end for the, the victory. Like when you're playing a first-person shooter with your friends. Or not, this, not even a first-person shooter. Could be like an RPG or something. And, like, your friend is doing all the work, but you get the actual kill shot. You get, like, that final little bit of health off the boss. Oh! Oh! Did we win? That was a funny... The guy didn't know if he wanted to hit it or not. Hold on, replay this. He's like, I will hit it after all. We won! Oh my god, we're up two sets. This is tense, guys. Oh, yeah. Eat that. Eat that. Yeah! Oh, look at them! I love watching them, like, bumble and dive for that thing. Like, watching the Three Stooges try and play tennis. You guys suck. Go back to... Communist Russia. I don't know where you people are from! <laughs> but go back there. Oh, God! Oh! Nice try! Nice try! Man, I'm actually getting into this. Boom! Yeah! You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Why did my guy change shirts, by the way? Pretty sure I was in red before. Wait, who am I? W wait, which guy am I? I'm the blue shirt guy. I thought it was the red shirt guy for this whole game. I don't know what's going on. I'm colorblind. Um, oh man, that's so sweet. That's like this. Look, the ref isn't even reacting. I think the ref has been killed, guys. The guy who's like sitting in the chair watching this whole match. In fact, I'm I'm pretty sure all the people on the court besides us are just cardboard cutouts. I don't know what's happening in this game. Boom! Boom! You can't get anything by me! <laughs> we won! <laughs> Victory! We won! Yeah, they're gonna go cry. They're gonna go cry over a cake. Oh, I thought those guys were gonna kiss! It's like, I'm sorry, man, it was close. Let me make out with you a bit. Apologize for beating you so badly. That'd be a that'd be a funny a funny rule in tennis if when you shake over the net you have to like aggressively make out with your opponent. Win or lose, it would show tremendous sportsmanship. Um and it's in in you know, it's uh very French. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna Oh wait, can we keep 
playing. Rematch. Ca how many calories did we burn? Guys, we burned 7.2 calories. I am 100% getting a Big Mac for lunch after this. I earned it. <laughs> Sir, why are you eating so many Big Macs? I was playing tennis with Roger Federer. And I won. And Serena Williams. In fact, I was Roger Federer. Breaking news, local man arrested at McDonald's for a clearly psychotic episode. <laughs> they like leading me out in handcuffs. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's play Wimbledon. I think we've earned it. So that one's kind of cool because of that big balcony area, but center court seems classic to me. I don't know much about Wimbledon, but it seems classic. Can we like play in the rain or something cool? Commentator volume, sound effects. Nope. All right, let's let's uh, do another match here. We'll play at Wimbledon. I'm game. Left-handed actually worked out really well. Oh shoot, we definitely want doubles though. Uh, wait, how do we do this? Game settings. Oh, maybe there is no doubles at Wimbledon. That would make sense. Two sides. Oh man, we gotta do this all on our own. Okay, we are not playing against Roger Federer because he's too good. Rafael Nadal. So I want. Ends of baseliner. I want somebody with five stars. That's what I want. And we're gonna play against somebody who does not have five stars. Okay, Pete Sampras. Done. Now this guy, let's find the crappiest person possible. We need like the shrimp character. If you don't understand that reference. Long time ago I played NBA Jam and there is a character called Shrimp. And he's not very good. This guy's also not very good. We could do him. What was his name? Key. I'm not even gonna try with that last name. We could play as Key. Maria Sharapova. Uh, Michael Stitch. Sure. All right. Michael Stitch, 6 foot 4. Be ready for his big serve. Excellent volleyer. Make sure to use the whole court. Thanks for the tips. Uh, serving, court positioning, tap. Ooh, we can actually move up and down the court. So that's actually oh, helpful. I feel like it's easier to screw the other guy over when you're up the court because you can create extreme angles for your shot, which like bounce in his side and then just fly off to the side and there's no way he can get it. So we actually have a strategy this time. Try and go center court. Oh God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, eat it. Oh, yeah, we got him. Going center court actually worked. Guys, I'm getting good at a Wii game. What, did, what does this mean? What does this mean? I don't know. You know, I'm not 100% against motion controls either. Um, just like for the record. I, uh, oh yeah, you're done. You're done, no, no, swing again. He's so mad, look, he's like swinging aggressively at that guy. He's like, I will kill you, he's foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I think he got bit by a raccoon before the match. He's pretty rabid, guys. Out! Oh, right, we can't hit in there because of doubles. Because it's not doubles. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not just inherently against, uh, motion controls. Um, I definitely feel like they have a time and place. And there's some YouTuber that I've watched who's actually kind of convinced me that motion control aiming is possibly more accurate than, like, mouse controls. And that's actually an interesting idea to me. I've never really dived into motion control aiming too much. Uh, and I've usually found it hard to do on the Wii, but like with gyroscopes and stuff on the PS3, apparently you can uh, get some pretty accurate stuff. Oh yeah, you're done. Going on. But I'd actually like to play like a PS3 game and use the gyroscope to aim, like a first person shooter and see if I can get the hang of that. Um. Oh yeah, actually, I you know what? I feel like the motion controls are kind of a good fit for this game. This this so far is working out pretty well. Crap. Uh, break point. Oh god, he has the advantage. I'm nothing without Serena. Without Serena Williams. <laughs> Stop hitting it there, dude! <laughs> Look, he's so dejected. He's sitting in his chair. Like you made it all this way, and you're gonna you're gonna lose. Gonna lose, man. Carla's gonna leave ya. Not gonna be able to make those mortgage payments. Fault. Alright, do a double fault. Double fault me, bro. Ah, you jerk. Boom. 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 
Boom! Oh no, I was way out of position. Look at him. Oh my god, the crotch shot. He's insulting us now. Okay, we can, we can do this. We got some moves. He hasn't seen everything we've got going on. Boo! Stop hitting it out, Roger Federer! He's like checking his racket. Is there something wrong with the racket itself? Can't be me. Double fault me, dude. Come on, man. Ooh, double fault. They should call it your fault. When you double fault, it's your fault. Boom. Boom! Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we're going downhill rapidly. So it turns out without Serena Williams, I suck at this game. Pro tip, if you're playing tennis and you pair up with Serena Williams, you will do better. That's just a little insight. Not many people know, but if you have a chance to play a doubles match and you can get Serena Williams as your partner, your game will go up. You will improve. You can have a nice friendly match. The back here. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right, maybe trying to run to half court is like a big mistake. He's pointing at the ground. That's where the ball hit. That's where it all came crumbling down for you, buddy. Boom. 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 Oh, yeah, all right. All right, we're making a comeback. If I can take one match, I'll feel good, I think. One match, I'll feel like we did something here. Boom. We're playing a little bit of cat and mouse here. Trying to lull him into a false sense of security. Then we hit it far to the left. <laughs> He's right my left. Oh, that's just Going down, buddy. Game point now. All right, we're, we're creaming him this time. 40 love. My only complaint about this game is that they say zero points instead of love. That was easy. He was so out of position, that's unbelievable. Now I'm getting in the game now. That ref is definitely dead. He's a stuffed manic. He's stuffed like a turkey. All these people. I don't think they could afford uh, ball boys or anything at Wimbledon, so they literally just purchased a bunch of mannequins at a store closing sale and just set them up. Because look at those people in the background. They're not moving. The tennis FBI. They're literal stuffed shirts. We'll hit it over there. Boom. Oh, yeah, you're done. I want to get back into position, dude. Oh, yeah, you're done. Wait, why would you? <laughs> oh, no. oh, I was trying to hit it. Every time he was far to the left, I was trying to hit it to the right. Like when he dove there, I was trying to hit it to the far other side of the court, but I don't know, the guy just didn't do it. My bad. Well, we did take one match off this guy. We are about to lose. But, you know, them's the breaks. Them's that when you play a high stakes game of tennis, them's the breaks. I wonder what the stakes are in this. Actually, oh my god, I missed it. Like, are these guys, do they have money riding on the game? Is somebody going to lose a finger if they lose? Like, you know, it's something extreme. And this is not a sport of gentlemen. It is, uh,. Like, do you hear the, like, when you watch tennis on TV, like, they grunt and scream and shout as they're hitting the ball. Like, how, I've, I've played tennis before. How hard is it to hit a ball? <laughs> you like, you don't hear baseball players, like, when they, when they swing the bat. And I'm pretty sure baseballs are going, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe they're not going as fast as tennis balls. But yeah, tennis is like a sport where people grunt. I always wonder if people need to grunt or they just feel expected. You know, like if you're a pro tennis player and you don't grunt, maybe you feel like the outcast and they're like, dude, you got to grunt a little bit. It's tennis. You know? it, it is a very gentlemanly French sport. And when you hit the ball, you grunt. You could also burp if that's more your, your style. You could burp or grunt, whatever you like. Losing the advantage. He has the advantage in this deuce. But little does he know that I have a secret 
which is that I'm trying to win. Oh! He's blown away. He's like, whoa. I thought I was the only one trying to win. Boom. Boom. Oh, you dick! You dick, I know what you're doing! You want to get me out of position! But I, the trick is I'm trying to get you out of position too! Time for it! <laughs> Wait, it was out! He screwed the pooch! Like Icarus, he flew too close to the sun on wings of wax. And now the advantage is all me. You should have stayed at the back of the court where you belong. Boom! Eat it! That was intentional, what I just did there. Sometimes when I hit the ball, it goes places intentionally! That's my other secret. It just looks like I don't know how to play the game. I actually don't know how to play the game frequently, but sometimes I do. Boom. 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 Oh, no! No! Oh. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I was trying to hit the ball away from him, but I think I, like, hit it and actually hit him. That's what you want. I wonder if anyone in tennis's history has, like, done anything, like, really unsportsmanlike. Like, where the person, like, let's imagine your opponent dove to hit a tennis ball, and as they're lying on the ground, it's your turn to hit the ball, and you just whip it right at them, and you, like, ricochet it off their hip. Like, injure them. Crap. I wonder if anyone has actually done that. Like, nail somebody right in the face or something. Surely people must have been hit by tennis balls. And if you got hit in the face with a tennis ball, I feel like you, you'd be bleeding or something like that. Oh, he did a yippee! Judges, <laughs> unimpressed. That guy's been hunched in that same position. Look, the guy behind uh, the opposing player, just like, frozen there. His, le his calves would be killing him. He hasn't moved in like, 40 minutes. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on, I hit that way too extreme. He's like, what did I do? What did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? Man, we're gonna have another deuce here. Guys, we have tied up the match. Like, in theory, we could win. We're playing this game on easy. I'm a five-star player against a three-star player. So I shouldn't get too excited, I guess, but it's like, we have a chance. I thought that was out! I thought that was out. We have a chance to win here, and it is quickly evaporating. Win or lose, I will still make out with you when we shake hands over the net, sir. Because you are a worthy opponent. It's not about... It's, it's not about sexuality at all. The making out is symbolic to prove there are no hard feelings and that you respect one another as opponents. Alright, fine. You beat me, Mr. Stitch. You beat me. He's like checking his racket. He's like, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait, what? It's not over. Oh, God. Thank God that was a fall. Did you see me fumble it? That was extremely bad. Boom, boom. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Maybe we're playing like best of five or something. Maybe Wimbledon has its own rules. Because we didn't get to select singles, doubles, number of matches. This might be best of seven. But, tell you what. Mmm. Boom. Boom. Get out of here with your nonsense. <laughs> Did he just swear? Look like he he dropped the f bomb, like a hard f. I think he I think he's just letting out a bit of pent up uh, rage here from constantly losing to this three star player. But, oh, I damn it! So definitely, this is an interesting game where when you choose to hit the ball, I think determines its angle. Um, so I think I'm hitting it way too early. Uh, when it's going, like, extreme to the left or right there. Boom. Boom. Like, that was way too early. Okay, so I know what I'm doing wrong now. I mean, I'm throwing the match as I'm figuring it out, but... Oh, this is it. Serving for the match. Oh, you're done. You're done. You can't... You can't recover from that. Get out of here. Serving for a match. I gotta win, like, three in a row in order to actually, uh, take this match from him. Boom. Son of a bitch. Alright. He's got the match. 
Mr. Stitch wins! Mr. Stitch wins. All right, come here, buddy. Pucker up. All right, we'll do it later. You, you give me your hotel room key. I'll find you later. We'll make this right. Whoa, he has vampire fangs. Forget it. I'm not kissing that. Uh, anyway, all right, we lost. But uh, there's the cardboard cutouts in Wimbledon, which, uh, you know, are... I guess the the audience, look at them. They're clapping in unison. That is creepy, man. We are in some kind of parallel universe here of, like, bizarre tennis factoids. We have dead players playing in an arena with judges who are clearly mannequins and cardboard cutouts that are actually moving. It's This would be like a, a horror movie or something in, in reality, some kind of, like, reality-bending you know, thing. But it's a Wii game. It's a friendly, friendly Wii game. Anyway, this has been EA Sports presents Grand Slam Tennis on the Wii. This is one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And to be honest, I actually had, like, some decent fun with this. I, uh, I always, like, am a little on the fence whenever I go to play a Wii game because uh, I'm not super into the motion controls. Uh, but, you know, there are some great Wii games out there. I don't know if I would say this game is great, but it was it's definitely solid. Like, if you want a tennis game, like, this one seems to have... A lot of options and stuff and you know like there's mario tennis and stuff but i feel like if you want a tennis game that has tennis greats this one is actually not too bad um and there does seem to be uh some you know optimization you can do in terms of how you swing and when you swing so you can definitely get better at this than than i was obviously um and actually the art style i think holds up amazingly well even though this is a wii game you know, even though this isn't like a high def photorealistic, I mean, look at these players. They're stylistically cartoony, but not zany cartoony. Like it's actually like a great style. So um, I think this is a great looking game. It felt good. Um, it was kind of fun to play. You can get fit apparently if you get out of your chair like me and don't become a gelatinous blob. But uh, yeah, anyway, the game surprised me. I, I, I feel good about this game. I don't know if it's a must play necessarily, but definitely uh, if you like sort of motion, motion controlled tennis games, um, or even any motion controlled sports games, or you're a big fan of tennis, I could see this game appealing to you. So there you go. What do you guys think of Grand Slam Tennis here? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've played this game and you have fond memories or tips or tricks or any opinions of your own, feel free to share those as well. As always, whatever you think of my opinion of the game here, hopefully you did enjoy yourselves and have a little fun. If that is the case, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And uh, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and peace. My goal in life to become an NES playing blob.